National Association for Continents. I'm here with Dr. Eric Rosner, Professor of Urology at the Medical University of South Carolina. We're talking about overactive bladder. How many different medications for overactive bladder should a person try before moving on to other therapies such as nerve stimulation techniques? Leah, today there's probably seven or eight different medications uh, available to, uh, to the consumer. Uh, for the treatment of overactive bladder. Individuals respond to uh, medications in different ways. Even though the medications are in the same class, an individual may respond to one medication and not another medication, or, or may have severe side effects from one medication and not the other medication. There is no good answer to your question. Uh, generally, in clinical practice, we try at least two medications. And some individuals would prefer we try three, four, five, or six medications before moving on to some of the more invasive techniques for the treatment of overactive bladder that you've talked about. What else can a patient do alongside the medication to make it a more effective treatment option? There are multiple uh, behavioral modifications uh, that, that an individual can pursue that would be additive to the effects of overactive bladder medication. A good example of a, of a technique would be pelvic floor exercises or Kegel exercises. Uh, another uh, technique, a simple technique, uh, would be simple fluid modification. Uh, that is to drink uh, a mild amount of uh, fluid. Uh, in, uh, in an individual who drinks an excessive amount of fluid, simply modifying the amount of fluid that they drink may have a tremendous improvement, may result in a tremendous improvement in their overactive bladder symptoms. Beyond medications, what are some of the other treatment options? So the treatment of overactive bladder for the individual who's um, not responded optimally to medications and behavioral modifications such as pelvic floor exercises would include things such as percutaneous tibial nerve stimulation or sacral neuromodulation. Both of these involve uh, somehow modulating or interfering with the central nervous system control over urination. Percutaneous tibial nerve stimulation or PTNS is a technique where a a needle, uh, smaller than an acupuncture needle, is actually placed uh, on the ankle. Uh, and by placing or uh, uh, putting an electrical uh, impulse through that needle, we can actually modulate or change the bladder's behavior. It does require that the patient come to the office once a week for several weeks in a row, but the response, where this, the response rates are fairly reasonable. Another technique involves implanting a permanent nerve stimulator. Uh, this is placed surgically uh, with the patient uh, or the individual asleep uh, and a wire is placed uh, through uh, a small hole uh, in the lower back uh, and that's placed adjacent to the nerves that go to the bladder and this technique called sacral neuromodulation generally has response rates on the order of about 70 or 80 percent for individuals with overactive bladder.